guys welcome back and this video is all about creating high quality 3d mockups whether you want to render it or edit in real time this video is for you especially if you don't know how to create mockups on photoshop so the tool which i'm going to be using is called pactora basically pactora is an online packaging design tool that integrates editing 3d view rendering and exporting into one single web product Designers no longer need to purchase and install multiple softwares and all the work can be done in this browser. And luckily we have been sponsored by Pactora. We got a sponsor. Pactora reached out to me to show you guys how effective, efficient and powerful their tool is. And I've been using Pactora since three weeks now. They reached out to me last like three weeks ago. I told them let me use your software let me use your tool and then I will give a proper review and I have been mind blown I am I'm just can't wait to show you how powerful this software is so let's get right into the video okay so here is okay so here I have Pactora open let me just run you down uh, through this software through their website so it's pretty simple as you can see there are just four things your template die lines mock-up 3d creator and printing yes they also provide you die lines for your packaging this is gonna make packaging design process so so much easier and this is honestly such a lifesaver for designers who do packaging designs every single day so your you see there are 2000 plus packaging die lines and templates so these die lines basically are given to printers to print their entire box packaging or any kind of packaging you have and you can actually download these as pdfs as jpeg images import it on illustrator or photoshop do your editing and then see how it's gonna look in real life and then send it to the printer for printing yes that's how it's gonna make your life much much easier because i know it's very tough to create die lines and none of the none of our printers provide us with die lines so this is this is such a lifesaver here they have 2000 plus packaging mockups this is what i was talking about exactly as you can see pouch packaging box packaging tube packaging all all such kind of packaging but uh, remember uh, as the name says Pactora, it's all about packaging so if you love packaging like me this is the tool for you here you have an online 3d packaging creator yes this is also there so if you want to create the packaging only on this website you can do that you can change the materials the lighting the shadows you can design it on this as well and here is another very very powerful tool called online 3d modeling i'm going to talk about this at the end of the video so stay tuned for that this is something you cannot miss also if you guys want to get a subscription of pactora 50 percent off stay tuned till the end because i have my own code which i'm going to give you guys and you can get 50 percent off so yes watch till the end to get that code okay so here as you can see there are so so many different designs different templates uh, for example, let's search um, cookie. Okay, so if I search cookie, it's gonna be show. It's gonna show me different types of packaging I can have. Your I can have like like a sleeve mock-up. I can have like different jars, and all the die lines are given with it. So you don't need to worry about the sizing, the dimension. Uh, let's do something like a simple box. Uh, let's say if I want to start a t-shirt brand and if I want to get the t-shirt delivered to you in a very specific designed box uh, very specific so I think this one is perfect honestly then these boxes can be used for so so many different purposes but I really like this one so let's say let's click on this one it will load and here there are so many options let's say the real time editing here you can edit the dimensions if you want you can change it to your liking inner outer dimensions you can change to inches there are download formats if you want the AI die line which we will go for because we want to make the design in Adobe Illustrator so we'll go for that and I feel like for now this is fine like uh, I'm not actually starting up a t-shirt brand and I'm not actually printing this product but for experiment purposes this works perfectly so I'm gonna click on download now and it's gonna start downloading the AI file of this exact die line now that we have successfully opened our die line illustrator file uh, here is the entire file as you can see uh, what we are gonna do is so uh, on top left uh, there are some details which is important while getting this actually printed but for now we're just gonna focus on these three things so the green one is blade the blue line here is trim and the red one is the crease so these are very important uh, while creating a design you may need to make sure that uh, your design doesn't uh, get affected because 
these lines are very helpful uh, in maintaining those margins uh, what we are going to do is we're going to uh, right click and release clipping mask and uh, we're just going to select this white box here which is the exact exact dimension of the box we want the design on we are going to change the color let's say something light blue finally so we have this blue color over here and uh, don't worry about uh, these lines right here once we are done with the final design we're going to put all of them back so in fact let's do one thing before putting this uh, in our design let's select let's select our entire die line and let's group it so once our design is final once our design is ready we will put that in the back so it doesn't affect our design so let's just put it back here uh, so see now it's group we can just move it and right click and send it to back so now our, there's no lines and creases on our main design okay so what we have to do right now is how do I mention? Yes. Okay. So what I'm guessing right now is so this is let's let's just have a 3D view of it. So that's gonna come on top. Okay. So basically this part this part right here is our top and this part right here is our bottom uh, for now let's just add some fun some fun typography in fact before that let's add some brush strokes let's just make it thoda okay you know what let's do one thing let's add some typography let's say dsgnr designer let's blow this up let's have it somewhere right here obviously change the font because we are never going to use that default font. I think this is this is a pretty good font. Let's say we are creating a brand called Designer, and uh, you know, creating a box where the merch will be presented. So this is our brand. I'm going to change it to white color, so it looks pretty cool. So this is going to be the top part of it, and uh, then it's going to have a bottom as well. But obviously, we're not keep going to keep the bottom here. We're going to have um let's say let's add some fun elements so let's take these let's maybe create a star and yeah something like this have it in the center so this is just like for an experiment purpose to just see how this thing is gonna flow how this brand is gonna look we're gonna have this stroke yes and i'm gonna right click and simplify it uh so we have used less nodes and another thing is since this is a very crooked line what we're going to do is we're going to use the smooth tool which is right here and just smoothen it out yeah this will make it much much smoother so let's increase the stroke of it yes so one is here then we're gonna have one right here like just some flowy lines to add to make our design more interesting uh, I feel like it's missing a bit of colors so let's just quickly let's change this color let's add like a darker blue something so that was teal uh, oh I think yellow will look pretty good yeah yellow might look pretty good so yeah, this is just for experiment purpose I know this is looking very bad but this is just to see how the box looks so let's do one thing let's quickly export this and I'm gonna show you all uh, what the software is capable of so I'm gonna export it as and I'm gonna go to my just downloads box right here and click on one okay so uh, your uh, I'll, I'll just export as JPEG but as RGB because I want those colors here uh, then I'm gonna go to our go to our website Pactora here what I'm gonna do is okay so now I'm gonna click on design online so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that design exactly on the template so it makes a 3d mock-up of the box to do that um, yeah it's loading it will take some time to load but so there are two tabs right here design mode and a mock-up mode uh, your obviously as the name suggests you can design and here you can see what your final mock-up looks like but if you still want to see while designing on the top right you can see a, a little preview you can even move it rotate it however you like it so we are going to upload our image which we just exported it will be right here 
Got it. We should have exported in PNG actually. So just those white background doesn't interfere with the design. But I think for now it will work. Just gonna get it. Okay, I guess we should have exported as a PNG. So let's quickly export this as a PNG. Name it as box. I feel like because PNG was a, was a higher quality one. So yeah, PNG was much neater. Okay, so let's redo this again. Yes, our PNG is loading. Here it is. Perfect. So you as you can see, there were a, there were a lot of different assets I was trying out and just working my way around. Here was the pair of student packaging which I created on Factora itself. A lot of you were asking me which software I used. So yes, here is our PNG. Perfect. We are gonna just scale this up a little bit and make sure our design aligns. So if you notice, if you see these arrows, these buttons, they should align properly. Oops, let's go back to our design mode. I think, yeah, the it's still not aligned. It should be a little bit bigger. I think that's fine, we can work with that. After you're done, just click on mock-up mode and here you can view it in real time, your entire design. You can zoom in. It is very, very high quality, honestly. like. You might not realize in this, but it's pretty high quality. And if you want to see how this thing opens, you can like slide it here. There you can like also play this animation and view your entire design getting folded up. It's 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 lagging a bit right now because I'm recording my laptop screen, but uh, trust me, it's pretty, pretty smooth. And then this will fold up. And the best part about this, uh, when you go to export dialer and mockup, obviously you're gonna export this as an image, as a mockup, which is pretty good in itself. But there is one more thing you can do. You can create animations. There are there are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight video styles you can do. Something like this, if you want, uh, like a preview of your box. Yes, see, you can do something like this. If you want the entire box to open and close an animation of it, you can also do that. And the way variations are pretty, pretty crazy. So there is so much, so much to explore. And I hope this, the possibilities are endless. And there is so, so much crazy stuff you can do with this tool, with this software. And um, yeah, this is just one part we explore. There is so much we can do with it. So if you go to 3D Creator, this what this does is basically uh, it's like uh, it's like Canva for Adobe Dimension. So how in Adobe Dimension you have to create you create these 3D models, these 3D environments. This does everything for you, and um, and it's pretty good at it as well. So you go to 3D Creator and you go to this uh, bar called 3D Modeling. Here you can do 3D modeling like how you do in Adobe Dimension, but this is a browser-based software, so you don't need heavy apps, heavy software. You don't need to save these heavy files. This works purely in browser, and it works pretty pretty smoothly. Uh, you'll be surprised how powerful this tool is. Uh, you can create very high quality graphics uh, models. As you can see, it starts off with this small box. I'll just click it right there, and it'll get placed. And uh, what I want to do is, I want to go to my models, uh, which were like pre-created by me. Uh, if you remember, right now, uh, we just created this model. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click it. It's going to import that very model, that very mock-up in our design. And it'll take some time to load because, yes, so here it is. So. Uh, we have our box right here. We are going to go ahead and delete this one. We don't require it. And guys, we are literally in like a 3D software editing our design, which we just created like two minutes ago. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to select some scene, which I feel like will suit our box pretty well. So here you can select scenes on base of the colors. Uh, there are different kinds of things you can do. So explore and find the right scene, which is suitable for your brand suitable for your mock-up and which works out for you properly so i'm still not finding the one i'm looking oh this is pretty good yeah i like this one uh, not sure the colors will match uh, but for now let's just go ahead with it there are so so many uh, ones uh, there are so so many templates and uh, the more options they give us the more uh, we the more time we take to decide on one decide on something 
So I'm getting confused. Which one should I take? Let's just let's just go with this one. Simple, nothing too much, and uh, even the colors are pretty matching. I mean the colors are quite matching with our original one. So yeah, just click on the template, and what they'll do is it will replace those original products in the template as you can see with your model. And if they don't replace it, you can also add it from the uploads. Um, yes, waiting for it to load. Okay, we got our scene open. <laughs> as you can see, there is um, all this mess right here. That that happened because we had one, two, three, four products already, and what it did was basically replaced those models with our products. So uh, you don't need to do anything. We can just click and delete. And the good part about this, there is like a layer panel types where you can see how many models you have, how many cylinders you are working with right now. So yes, so this is our main one. We are just gonna click it. And uh, if you have worked with 3D software before, you know how these tool exactly work. So if you wanna resize something, you just click on this box and scale it down. You can uh, move it with these axes. These are X, Y and Z axes. And basically what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to create a very interesting scene uh, where this box is placed on on this table sort of a thing. And uh, so if you have this box right here, if you want to make a duplicate of it, just select it. And there is this uh, option here to create a duplicate. It creates a duplicate. You can click it right here. And this can maybe be in the air, but I would like it to... Uh, be resting on that side where it's showing the other part because I'm already seeing the designer part of it so yes you you can you'll take some time to get used to it but obviously and just like that we created a very very interesting scene you can use this screen like as a screenshot in any of your projects presentations on your website you can also uh, like have the scene saved so if you want to change the angle of it change the position of the products for example if you're starting your own online store you can use this as uh, images as you can on the websites so once you're happy with how the scene is looking so you just click on rendered pictures what it's gonna do is uh, once you're happy with uh, how your scene is looking you just click on uh, render now but before that uh, make sure you select the aspect ratio you like and also the resolution i think 4k is the highest yes 4k is the highest and uh, honestly 4k is a lot 2k hd is pretty good so you click on render now it's going to save this exact view of the image and it's going to render it uh, in 2k which is pretty pretty high quality so here you have like different models different styles um, if you if you are looking for uh, something which is like food related something beauty related you can find everything right here see this is like a beauty brand then this is like coffee packaging so all these different different types of packaging you can have and you can create basically your own mockups um, which is very very custom to you and which you cannot find online anywhere else but that was the tool which I was so excited to talk to you all about and I hope you all enjoyed the entire process of downloading the die line, getting some design on it, exporting it in Pagdora, making the mockups, creating our own 3D environment and just experimenting with graphics, with visuals, with photography. All that in one powerful software, powerful tool called Pagdora. It's time to reveal the code. It's Anik50. So Anik50 is a code which you can use to get 50% off on their subscription. The links will be in the description. The link of Pagdora will be in the description. Thank you so much Pagdora for sponsoring this part of the video. And uh, honestly, I'm going to use this every single day for my client presentations having it uh, in the entire brand presentation where i'm pitching where even i'm even when i'm making packaging design this tool this is software is going to be used uh, by me every single day yeah uh, i hope you all had fun check out pagdora again the link will be in the description uh, show them some love and i'll see you all in the next video bye